when we come to open care systems, so these are systems where the radiant warmer is used to provide heat. And uh, the main advantage is obviously to have easier access for procedures and they're easier to clean. It is not possible to humidify effectively in the radiant warmer, even though some units use a cling film shield uh, as an option. This limits the access. You have to remove the cling film every time. There is a small chance of accidents from the cling film. So uh, open care systems are not used for routine baby care in the Western units. Uh, in the developing world where resource limitation makes you have more of open care systems, these are cheaper, obviously. They are less uh, uh, difficult to manufacture and the items involved are fewer. Um, so it's a cheaper system and most of the uh, units in the developing world often use open care systems for the stable babies, uh, for the bigger babies at least. And uh, the disadvantage is obviously the lack of uh, ability to humidify and uh, wind rot that may be associated. So uh, my uh, unit has a few open care systems. We use it more for procedures. We transfer the babies to that or before we move the baby to the crib, we keep them in the open care for a while. If they do need some additional support, we uh, keep them on the pre-warm mode uh, for some time and then we transition them down. So these are usually bigger babies. If it is a premature baby in the first few days, their skin is obviously not mature. So even if it is a 34 or 35 weeker, receive them in the incubator, even if you are in a unit with resource limitation. So this is the open care system. And as you can see, we have the radiant heater at the top. You may have the resuscitator options uh, in the open care systems, mainly those used in the labor room, but those used in the NACU, you may or you may not enable them as you will have the NEOP of another devices attached. Uh, these uh, side rails are very important. Don't forget to close them. And there is an ability to tilt the system as well and uh, lower the unit up and down. So uh, we have three main modes on the open care system. We have the skin mode. So this can be used uh, soon after admission for monitoring a baby. For uh, Suppose a baby has a brief uh, transient echidna of newborn. You expect the baby to settle down within a few hours after the delivery and you plan to shift. So it's easier to clean the open care system and it's a term baby. So there is no harm in receiving the baby and keep them on the skin mode in the beginning because the temperature is labile soon after delivery. And if you fix the probe appropriately, the skin mode is uh, handy to adjust the level of heat. Uh, air mode or manual mode uh, is an option as well in the open care system. The main uh, difficulty with the manual mode is that you have to monitor the baby's skin temperature yourself and make adjustments in the heater output. So uh, if you look at the design of a panel in most of the radiant warmer systems, you have uh, this area where you have the extent to which the heater output is used. So we have from uh, 10 marks most of them. So from 10% to 100% heater output. And if there are no lights on here, it means there is no heater output in heat emitted. And if you have uh, five marks, it means 50% of the heater output is on. Uh, usually when you go to the labor room, we have kept the warmer there on a pre-warm mode. Uh, so that the uh, towel and everything kept under it is kept heated. However, when you're actually attending the delivery, it's better to change it to the manual mode because the pre-warm mode keeps dropping the heater output every uh, few minutes and it reaches 30% and stays there. Uh, when you are bringing the baby back to the unit, so obviously air mode alarms every 15 minutes for you to check the temperature. So keeping them on the air mode is not a suitable option. The pre-warm mode is useful for babies where, I mean, one is in the labor room where you are preheating your equipment and you want them to stay at a certain temperature. Uh, once the baby is uh, moving out of the incubator, before transitioning to the crib, if we need a little bit of heat, the pre-warm mode is a good option. When you switch on the open care system in a pre-warm mode, it starts with 100% heater output and within a 10 to 15 minute period, it drops to 30%. It stays at 30% heat after that. So it does provide more heat than what is there in the environment. So this is in contrast to the crib. It doesn't overheat the baby because 30% heat output just leads to a little bit of warmth and a baby can be wrapped more if the 30% isn't enough. So if you keep that same baby on manual mode, if the baby is a bit cold and uh, increase the heater output to say from 30 to 50% for a few minutes, the body temperature catches up, then they may again be able to maintain in pre-warm mode with a little more wrapping. So this is a tip 
for you to transition from incubator to crib care, you can use the pre-warm mode. The pre-warm mode doesn't alarm, so it can be kept for any length of time. Skin mode on the open care system, one uh, big uh, thing that you have to monitor is that the probe is attached properly. If the probe is displaced, it will read the air temperature and baby will get roasted. So this is not good unless you are closely monitoring and the probe has been fixed properly. So I am not a fan of the skin mode on the open care system except for maybe the first three to four hours of age. A small baby uh, who is growth restricted or who is premature under 35 weeks should not really go under the open care system in the first few days. So uh, this panel again, uh, you have uh, the ability to monitor the temperature, ability to adjust the mode that you use and uh, so on. Uh, 